The coronation of the King of England is a detailed and elaborate ceremony that dates back to the 10th century and is steeped in tradition and symbolism. It signifies the new monarch's ascension to the throne. In the past, the coronation of a monarch was regarded as a sacred event in England, a time when the monarch was anointed with holy oils and given the authority to rule by divine right. The ceremony is still a very important part of British history and tradition today, reminding us of the monarchy's continuity and the country's long history of monarchy dating back over a thousand years. There was a time-honored coronation oath where the newly crowned king pledged to uphold the laws and traditions of the Church of England and the United Kingdom. Since the 12th century, every monarch has taken this oath, which serves as a reminder that the monarch is both the head of state and the head of the Church of England. More than 2,000 guests are expected to attend the British monarchy's 39th coronation ceremony at Westminster Abbey, which has hosted every coronation since 1066. This grand event will draw one of the largest crowds in British history. It will be attended by dignitaries from all over the world as well as members of the British royal family. While some argue that such an elaborate and costly ceremony is unnecessary in modern times, the coronation remains an important part of British history and tradition. It's a symbol of the monarchy's continuity, and its significance extends beyond England's borders, serving as a powerful reminder of the country's rich cultural heritage and emphasis of the king's power. These are interesting things with J.C.